In the sepia-tinged corridors of television history, where black and white dreams intertwine with the vivid hues of imagination, there exists a timeless relic of the screen at EUR The Wild Wild West. Step into the shadowy world of the mid-1800 seconds, where steam-powered contraptions harmonize with the clang of six shooters, and intrigue dances a tantalizing waltz with danger. Do you remember that first electrifying encounter with this 1965 TV series? Perhaps it was a serendipitous discovery on a late-night channel surf, or a whispered recommendation that ignited your curiosity. Picture yourself, suspended in time, journeying alongside James West and Artemis Gordon, two charismatic agents of President Ulysses S. Grant, as they unravel mysteries that defy the ordinary. The West is wild, indeed, but the tales spun here are wilder yet. Through flickering screens, you witness James West's suave defiance and Artemis Gordon's ingenious gadgets at EUR a symphony of wit and weaponry. Each episode, a captivating blend of action, espionage, and a dash of the peculiar left an indelible mark on the tapestry of your memory. And oh, those memorable moments that linger like the taste of adventure on your lips. The surreal showdowns and ever-evolving disguises, the contraptions that would make even Da Vinci raise an impressed brow, and the relentless pursuit of Dr. Lovelace, a EUR a villain whose machinations were as inventive as they were diabolical. From train heists that defied gravity to duels that defied logic, the wild, wild west swept you into a world where the line between history and fantasy was gloriously blurred. But enough reminiscing, let's unveil some riveting facts that shimmer in the fog of time. Did you know that the series was inspired by the steampunk genre before the term even existed? Intricately designed sets and a fusion of anachronistic technology, an old world charm created a visual symphony that resonates still. And who can forget the iconic theme music that lured you into the show's embrace, the strains of it swirling through your mind long after the credits rolled. Now, as we delve into the annals of trivia about this remarkable series, prepare to be surprised and intrigued anew. Let's unravel the threads of history, stitch by stitch, and rediscover the wonder that is the wild, wild west. So, without further ado, let's step into the vortex of facts and stories, where the unexpected awaits at every turn. Charles Aidman's intriguing stint on the Wild Wild West in the annals of television history. The Wild Wild West, the popular 1965 series that melded the Western and spy genres, has left an indelible mark. While its daring exploits and gadget-laden adventures captivated audiences, one subplot that often goes unnoticed is the unexpected casting twist involving Charles Aidman. Amid the sweltering atmosphere of Hollywood studios, where TV shows of the era were incubated, a unique phenomenon emerged. Shows often shared minor cast members, a peculiar intermingling that knit together the fabric of the era's television landscape. Aidman, a seasoned actor with a knack for versatility, was primed to appear in an episode of The Wild Wild West, initially poised for a one-off role. However, fate had other designs. Ross Martin, the actor portraying Artemis Gordon, found himself grappling with a heart attack, leading to an unexpected hiatus. In a nimble move to keep the show rolling, Aidman was seamlessly woven into the narrative, filling in as Jeremy Pike, a temporary partner to Robert Conrad's James West. The audacious series, known for its audacious stunts and imaginative gadgets, retained its dynamic pace despite the setback. Aidman's contribution brought a fresh energy to the screen, his chemistry with Conrad providing a captivating alternative dynamic. The show's unparalleled ability to pivot seamlessly showcased its adaptability, preserving its fervent fan base. As the curtain closed on Aidman's stint and Ross Martin's return marked a triumphant comeback, the serendipitous twist remained etched in TV history. It was a testament to the unforeseen bonds formed within the vibrant Hollywood ecosystem, where shared talents helped shape the very fabric of television. In the constellation of classic TV shows that graced screens during that golden age, the Wild Wild West stood out not only for its inventive storytelling, but also for the intricate connections that formed behind the scenes. Aidman's brief but impactful presence reminds us of the intricate dance between art and circumstance that shapes the television landscape. And so, the enigmatic blend of Western grit and espionage intrigue remains not only as a hallmark of the wild, wild west, but as a testament to the, the wild, wild, wild creative west, spirit. The television series that rode into living rooms in 1965 stands as a testament to the allure of reimagined history and technological innovation. 
Although its initial title was a simpler The Wild West, a name change to The Wild Wild West proved a stroke of linguistic finesse. Ross Martin, the esteemed actor of the show, approached his role with an artist's touch. He meticulously crafted a pen and ink portrait of his character, meticulously detailing the attire, accessories, and even posture. Collaborating with makeup artist Don Schoenfeld, they transformed his visage to mirror the sketched vision. However, what truly sets the series apart is its mastery of anachronistic ingenuity, which foreshadowed a genre now known as steampunk. The show's portrayal of brilliant inventors during the 1870s conjuring technologies yet to grace the world stage until decades later sparked a retro-futuristic aesthetic. This genre-defining trait has come to be encapsulated by the term steampunk, coined in the 1980s. As we look back at the wild, wild west, we witness a convergence of history, artistry, and foresight that continues to captivate audiences. Its deft title adjustment, Ross Martin's artistic metamorphosis, and the pioneering embrace of steampunk elements all contributed to a show that remains etched in the annals of television history. Robert Conrad's perilous pursuit of perfection on the set of the Wild Wild West in the sprawling landscape of 1960s television. The Wild Wild West emerged as a remarkable fusion of the Western and espionage genres. As audiences tuned in each week to follow the exploits of James West and Artemis Gordon, portrayed by Robert Conrad and Ross Martin respectively, little did they know the lengths to which Conrad would go for authenticity at EUR sometimes at his own expense. Conrad, the embodiment of the dashing Secret Service agent James West, became synonymous with his character's daring escapades. Yet, behind the scenes, his pursuit of realism led to an unexpected wardrobe malfunction. That remains a quirky footnote in television history. Those infamous tight pants he wore for the role weren't just a fashion statement, but a source of unexpected peril. Conrad, in an interview years later, revealed that these skin-tight trousers, while undoubtedly fashionable, were not always the most functional during action sequences. In fact, the actor admitted that these pants, a staple of his on-screen ensemble, had a tendency to split open during particularly vigorous fight scenes. The on-screen drama took an unintended turn as the camera captured more than anticipated, immortalizing moments of split seams and revealing glimpses of period-incorrect jockey shorts. Astute viewers could spot these wardrobe malfunctions in wide-angle shots, where the action slowed down and meticulous scrutiny of Conrad's attire exposed the unexpected undergarment choices. This unforeseen fashion faux pas offered a touch of levity to the otherwise intense sequences, a testament to Conrad's commitment to realism even when it came at the cost of his own sartorial dignity. One can't help but marvel at the lengths Conrad went to ensure that every aspect of his performance felt genuine at EUR from his valiant portrayal of the character to the intricate details of his wardrobe. As audiences cheered on James West, they unwittingly became voyeurs to his wardrobe misadventures. It's a testament to the show's enduring popularity that these quirky anecdotes persist, adding layers of charm to a series that already blended action, intrigue, and the mystique of the Old West. Robert Conrad's commitment to his craft, even in the face of unexpected challenges, left an indelible mark on the annals of television history. And so, as we journey back to the era of secret agents and steam-powered contraptions, let us not forget the dedication that brought the wild, wild west to life at EUR tight pants, split seams, and all. Michael Garrison, the mastermind behind the iconic 1965 TV series The Wild Wild West, met a tragic end that mirrored the intrigue of his own creation. During the show's second season, Garrison's life took an unexpected turn. As he ascended the stairs of his newly adorned mansion, fate took a cruel twist. A careless spill turned his opulent marble staircase into a treacherous slope. Garrison's fatal fall cast a shadow over the series he had birthed. While Garrison's legacy is etched into the show's adventurous narrative, another unsung hero remained in the shadows. Richard Markowitz, the composer who crafted the unforgettable theme for the Wild Wild West, found himself in a peculiar situation. Despite his artistic contribution, his name remained conspicuously absent from the credits of both the show's episodes and its film adaptation. 
Markovitz, theme synonymous with the series' daring escapades, remains a testament to the creative forces often overshadowed by the limelight. Intriguingly, the show's visual appeal was also meticulously engineered. Robert Conrad, the actor portraying the charismatic James West, donned three-inch heels to enhance his presence on screen. This clever elevation matched the larger-than-life essence of the series. Additionally, the CBS casting mandate added a unique dimension to the show's aura. With a directive to avoid hiring women taller than five feet six inches, the studio inadvertently wove an unseen thread of uniformity into the fabric of the wild, wild west. As the show galloped through its narratives of espionage and adventure, the lives of its creators and characters intersected in unexpected ways. Garrison's unfortunate demise, Markovitz's uncredited brilliance, and Conrad's elevated portrayal all converged to shape the legacy of the wild, wild west. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes remind us that while the West was indeed wild, the stories behind its creation were equally riveting. So, whether it's the unseen hands crafting the score, the hidden heels boosting a hero's stature, or the tragic twist that befell the creator, the wild, wild West continues to captivate, not only for what's seen on screen, but for the enigma that swirls behind the curtain. As we ride off into the sunset of nostalgia, the echoes of gadgets and gunfights linger in the air, reminding us of a time when adventure had no boundaries and imagination knew no limits. The 1965 TV series, The Wild Wild West, was more than just a show. It was a portal to a world where spies and steam-powered contraptions danced on the edges of possibility. As you take a moment to ponder upon your personal journey with this iconic series, consider the electrifying chemistry between James West and Artemis Gordon, as they tackled mysteries and menaces with a suave charm that left you both envious and entertained. Recall the thrill of each ingeniously devised plot, each daring escapade that left you on the edge of your seat, eagerly awaiting the next twist in the tale. Whether you discovered this gem of a show during its original airing or stumbled upon it through the wonders of modern streaming, the Wild Wild West undoubtedly left an indelible mark on your storytelling heart. Maybe it's the clever gadgets that still inspire your inner inventor, or perhaps it's the timeless struggle between good and evil that resonates with you even today. Now is your chance to be a part of the ongoing legacy of this remarkable series. Share your cherished memories, your insightful analyzes, and your heartfelt thoughts with fellow enthusiasts who understand the magic of those sepia-tinted adventures. Let the dialogue flow like the rhythmic chug of a steam locomotive, connecting minds across time and space. Thank you for joining in this journey down memory lane, for embracing the quirks and charms of the wild, wild west, and for sharing your unique perspective with the world. Together, we keep the spirit of adventure alive, celebrating a TV series that continues to inspire generations. Keep those memories alive and those thoughts flowing, and remember, it's not just a series, it's a legacy of imagination.